Hello, Mr. and Mrs. Brookings Harbor and all the fishing boats at sea. I'm Cousin Bruce Ellis. And I'm Kat Liddell. And And this this is The The Insider Insider Report. Report. So let your ears do the walking as we fill you in on what's going on in the Brookings Harbor area and beyond. beyond. Well, hello, 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 and welcome to this week's show that keeps you in the know. Hi, Kat. Hi, what a, Bruce. It was Thanksgiving it week was last Thanksgiving week and week. sliding right into the weekend. So yeah. how'd you just go? What did you mean, end up doing? It was delightfully sluggish and quiet. <laughs> like, oh, sweet. I mean, me and Jason, we like we ended up making like a pork shoulder roast instead of a turkey. Just sure. Like, we're not having the whole family over. We live in a cottage, you know? Yeah, yeah. And so it was me and him and then a couple of friends of ours, Tony and Heather, um, from over at Fat Cat. Oh, cool. Came over and spent the day with us. The, you know, they're getting married next summer. And oh, so they sweet. Were talking okay. wedding planning, which is super cute. Yeah, and, right on. And then my brother came over for some games afterwards. So it was just a uh, just yeah, A little a bit quiet, of a family thing, but it was cool. A yeah, little yeah. bit, yeah, but not, you know, I'm not going to set a table for 12 if only five are coming over. So. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Why would I do that to myself? And so. the food is what we're serving. <laughs> and it was delicious, honestly. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh, no, I know a lot of people that don't do traditional. I've, I've mm-hmm. went off track before. Well, heck, like I said, a long time ago when we moved into town, we were moving. We moved on Thanksgiving Day, and it was the year that Westworld came out because we went to Shakey's Pizza mm-hmm. and Westworld on Thanksgiving. That Funny. was our Thanksgiving, and just we loved it. It was one of the right. most memorable Thanksgivings I've ever had. Awesome. <laughs> it was cool. Yeah, yeah. yeah no, I know lots just, of people. Uh, I always remember that one, you know. Yeah. And everything. I know a lot of people make like an evening movie a tradition, too. Right, right, right. And right. after that, they'll see whatever's coming out. I've gone to see, like, I don't know, Fantastic Beasts and where to find them. Yeah, yeah. yeah, so yeah. Make your own traditions. It's Did good. you get out to the lights then? No, we're going to oh. wait on that until after the initial insane. Sanity crowd dies down. We're right. like midweek viewers, you know. We like to oh, to that's be able cool. To spread yeah, yeah, out yeah. And take things in when it's a little quieter. So. Well, the main Friday Saturday is for the Santa show. Oh if, yeah, if some yeah. Kids want to be with the Santa, and, and, absolutely. Yeah. And it's yeah. just like, well, let's keep the paths clear for the kids. Yeah, <laughs> like I'll just go and like on like a Tuesday or something. Yeah. That's fine with me. Yeah, yeah. See, yeah, we on Thanksgiving. I went to Beth's house, and it was funny. She said, "This is the first traditional Thanksgiving I've had to cook, you know, for and do and everything." So we did the turkey and the okay. whole night. We did it because Junior's first Christmas, even though he didn't eat anything, because <laughs> he yeah. doesn't eat that food right now, but he's got a weird taste, yeah, but he didn't eat it. But it's like we had a real traditional, Just it was just us hanging out and being cool. Mm-hmm. And then what happened was Chrissy and James, Chrissy Cooper, my part, event partner and everything, and her her guy James, they uh, mm-hmm. they we've gone to all three of them. This is the third one they did, but they have this Friendsgiving mm-hmm. on Saturday. Yeah. And the first year we did it... Um, we go over there and have Mau Mau, you know, and all that, eat and all that good stuff and hang mm-hmm. out and be cool. And and uh, then the trolley came mm-hmm. and, and took us all to the thing. And mm-hmm. then last year we did it. Penny was, she was doing something, she was doing something else mm-hmm. and we couldn't get her, but we, so we all drove to it. But this year we got to Penny Fine. back again. So we went and did that and that was mm-hmm. a blast. I'm telling you, those lights, crazy. Oh yeah. We were talking about it before the show and it's like, it's ridiculous, you know, how they, Mm-hmm. Like I said, the commercial, three million lights up there. And yeah. believe me, I believe it. You know, it's like, oh, yeah. I, yeah, and you go look at that. It's just amazing. It amazes me every, every yeah, every year. Mm-hmm. You mm-hmm. know, especially since they changed it, like I said last year, when they switched up, started doing the ground cover and everything. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that mm-hmm. awesome. Yeah. Awesome. So that's what we did this week, and that's we had great. fun. Yeah. And it was like, yeah, yeah. And, of course, Nerf Wars in between. Yeah, and of course. <laughs> mm-hmm. We always got to do that. Christmas list already figured out. I yeah, just count. Yeah. We got we got 15 Nerf guns right now. And by the time Christmas is done, we should have about 20. There you go. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, it's good to have options. Yeah, it's funny. It's, yeah. it's going to be good. But, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Excellent. Getting targets and everything. But, yeah, getting ready. Yeah, well, Thanksgiving over, so now it's getting ready for Christmas. And, and we actually, we're going into um, December's stuff right now too oh, because yeah. this week will be over by the time this airs and all that good stuff so mm-hmm. all right before you get going though hope you all got out there and had fun and had some great thanksgivings yourselves with friends and family and before we get going i'd like to thank trike city dispensary the oregon south coast fishermen otherwise known as the castaways just the jeweler and oregon coast vip marketing for sponsoring the insider report and if you'd like to sponsor our fine show or one of the other fine shows at KCIW, you just got to go to KCIW.org and you will be on your way. And we got a nice fresh music schedule for December. Hey, Here we go. All freshened up for us. So yes, starting off with Misty Mountain Brewing on the 9th and the 29th, Lawn Goddard's going to be playing from 6 to 8 p.m. Yeah, and then Tortuga Mexican Bar and Grill on the 8th, the 22nd, and the 29th. They'll have 
Jeevan, and then from 6 to 8, and then on the 15th, the Italian guys at 6 p.m. Mm-hmm. And over at the Inateca in Crescent City on the 2nd and the 16th, they'll host the Italian guys at 7 o'clock. Then on the 8th, it's Bloodline Band playing at 8. Yep, and then Elk Valley Casino, two places to play in there. And they're at the Betty Green Center. They've got on the 16th, comedian Tommy Savitt featuring Michelle Malizaki at 8 p.m., and then on 23rd, oh, my man, Justin Shandor, seen this guy hmm. almost like, I think about three times now. He does mm-hmm. the Elvis Presley tribute, mm-hmm. and that'll be on at 8 p.m. Cut It Like the Kings is playing at 7 on the 30th. And on New Year's Eve, there's going to be DJ Bobby Brown at 8. And then over at the Warriors Bar and Grill, music starts at 7. On the 1st and the 2nd, we've got Steve Berg. On the 8th and the 9th, the Mighty Steelheads. On the 15th and the 16th, Steve Nelson. On the 22nd and 23rd, Jesse Mead. And on the 29th and the 30th, Robert Tiernan. All right. And then there's a couple dates here for PA and T-Roy. They're playing on the 8th at the Brookings Elks Lodge. That's from 6 to 8 p.m. Then on the 16th, they'll be at Coon Tai from 6 to 8. Yeah. And Danielle Duran, the open mic she does every Tuesday at Oxen Free at 8 p.m. And every Thursday at Checo Brewing Company, 5 to 7. Yeah. And let's see here. The Tony Land Band is playing on the 9th at Coon Tai from 6 to 8. Yeah, and then the Mighty Steelheads on the 8th and the 9th. They'll be at Elk Valley Casino at 6. And then on the 31st, they'll be at New Year's Eve at Interteca, 9 p.m. Yes, and then there's a full lineup here for the Italian guys. On the 1st, they'll be at Coon Tai at 6. On the 2nd, at Interteca at 7. On the 15th, they'll be at Tortuga Mexican Bar and Grill at 6 o'clock. On the 16th, they're back at Inateca at 7 o'clock. And they're rounding out the month on the 30th with music at Coon Tai at 6 p.m. Yeah, and Mike Powell on the 1st, he'll be at Checo Brewing Company, 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. All right, we've got the full lineup here for Long Goddard. On the 1st, he's at the Brookings Elks Lodge from 6 to 8. On the 2nd, 15th, and 29th, he'll be at Coon Tai from 6 to 8 p.m. On the 9th, he will be at the Democratic Headquarters, second Saturday Art Walk from 3 p.m. to 5.30 p.m. And on the 9th and 29th, he'll be playing at Misty Mountain Brewing. Music they're running from 6 to 8. Yep, and Cisco and Daltrey, they're on the, the 2nd, the 9th, the 16th, the 23rd, and the 30th. They'll be at the Brookings Harbor Farmer's Market from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. On the 15th and 27th, you can catch them at Checkco Activity Center from 11 a.m. to 1.30 p.m., and then on the 15th, they'll be at Addie's in Crescent City at 3 p.m. to 5 p.m. Yes, and Disturbing the Peace on the 31st, that's New Year's Eve, they're playing at Checo Brewing Co. from 8 p.m. to midnight. Oh, yeah. And then the Bloodline Band on the 8th, they'll be at the Inatech at 8. And on the 22nd, Checo Brewing Company, 6 p.m. Yes. And Jeevan has a schedule here, too. On the 8th, 22nd, and 29th, he'll be at Tortuga Mexican Bar and Grill from 6 to 8. On the 9th, he'll be at Kirtan Singalong at the Gold Beach Wellness Center. That's from 4 to 6. And on the 16th, he'll be at Oxen Free Music starting at 8 p.m. Yeah, mm-hmm. very cool. That's our music schedule. If you got some music out there or a band you're in or whatever, give me a email at captaincurry541 at gmail.com. And, uh, yeah, we'll get it on the air mm-hmm. for you. You know, I just realized, too, the second is my 62nd birthday oh, yeah well, coming up birthday. i know it was boom bam it was like right on me what do like, you know yeah. <laughs> it's not going on you did. it just dawned on me about two weeks ago you know yeah, so that's why yeah. i'm like going it's gonna be my 60 second birthday and i'm feeling good and feeling great and yeah that's man great. hitting the gym doing all that stuff <laughs> yep. and having a good time isn't man. it great being in that well, place i got a little eight-year-old man i gotta keep up with as <laughs> i always say so yeah, yeah but yeah very you. cool <laughs> feeling good man yeah I'm yeah sure, i'm sure i'm gonna have some wonderful stories about your birthday party when we get back oh yeah yeah next week now It'll be fun. (laughs) All right, let's get into some special events here. So coming up from the Checo Pelican players, they're going to be presenting Roger and Hammerstein's Cinderella. They're pleased to present Rogers and Hammerstein's Cinderella, the closing show of their 2023 season. The show dates for that are December 1st through 17th, 2023. Friday and Saturdays, they start at 7.30 p.m. Sundays at 2 p.m. Doors open 45 minutes before curtain. Tickets are $15 for adults, $7 for students, and there are three ways to get tickets. You can go to checkopp.booktix.com. You can call 541-469-1857, or of course you can buy them at the door on the day of performance. Doors open 45 minutes before the start of each performance. And what's Cinderella about? Well, Rogers and Hammerstein's Cinderella 
is the new Broadway adaptation of the classic musical. This contemporary take on the classic tale features Rodgers and Hammerstein's most beloved songs, including In My Own Little Corner, Impossible, It's Possible, and Ten Minutes Ago, alongside an up-to-date, hilarious, and romantic libretto by Tony Award nominee Douglas Carter Bean. And they say the approximate runtime for this is 90 minutes plus one 15-minute intermission. Suitability suggestions here, just uh, so in case you're not familiar with the story, this play is a family-friendly production for audience members of all ages. Yeah, yeah, they haven't taken Cinderella to the um, past PG level yet. Thank goodness. Not yet. Not 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 Rogers and Hammerstein. <laughs> yeah, not anyway. Rogers and Hammerstein. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that would be interesting. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. I saw that movie Hair. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, <laughs> Wild River Symphony presents Christmas by the Sea. This will be happening on the third. 3 p.m. at the Crescent Elk Auditorium, located at 994 G Street in Crescent City. And then on the 4th, there'll be 7 p.m. at the Trinity Lutheran Church, which is located on 1200 Easy Street in Brookings. So one in Crescent City, one in Brookings, featuring Takata on I Saw Three Ships, A Canadian Brass Christmas, Pirates of the Caribbean, The Seahawk, and much more. Tickets are $12 presale, available at Del Norte Office Supply and Wright's Custom Framing. And online at wildriversymphony.org. 15 at the door, K through 12, are in for free. Yeah. There you go. Very cool. All right. And the Pacific Music Guild is presenting the North Coast Chorale and North Coast Youth and Kids Choirs. They're going to have a Christmas concert at the Crescent Elk Auditorium. That's, again, at 994 G Street in Crescent City. It's happening on the 5th and 6th of December at 7 p.m., $10 for general admission, $8 for students and seniors, and tickets are available at Del Norte Office Supply and at the door. Yeah, and Carol's Dance presents Ballroom Dance Tuesday classes. This will be happening at the Methodist Church on 6648 Street in Crescent City on the 5th, the 12th, and the 19th. WC Swing is at 530 to 630. Kumbaya is 630 to 7.30. There is a fee. For more info on this, you can call 916-214-6398. And then I'm pretty sure the pronunciation for that is cumbia. Is it cumbia? So if anyone's looking for a particular flavor of ballroom dance style, it does not involve sitting around a fire with a guitar. Yeah, no kidding. I was going to say kumbia. That's not, no, I know how they spell cumbia. the other one, but I didn't know if that's how it was. Totally, said. totally. It, yeah. It's cumbia? Okay, yeah. cool. Uh-huh, I'll uh-huh. learn something new. Yeah. This is the girl from the library, so I trust her. Sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, moving on from that. Now it's time for quotes from famous people with Cousin Bruce. Yeah, hey, here are a few quotes from actor Mandy Patinkin, born 1130, 1952. He says, everything I experience influences everything I do. He said, people on both sides of any conflict believe they are right, whether it's on a TV show or in the real world. And he goes, I belong on the stage. I love how the day's events Whatever you read in the newspapers or watch on the TV are reflected in the performance and how it's received. And last but not least, my name is Inigo Montoya. You killed my father. Prepare to die. There you go. Hope you enjoyed this week's quotes from Mandy Patinkin. Yes, indeedy. Birthday boy uh, with Cousin Bruce. Until next week, have a great one. Oh, man, he's famous for that line. I know. I, yeah, no, that's probably one of his most famous lines. <laughs> Mingo Montoya. Oh, I love it. I love it so that's much. Good stuff. Hey, you can learn all about king tides, sneaker waves, and high surf at the Curry Public Library in Gold Beach. They're having a talk coming up on the 7th of December at 5.30 p.m. You can join meteorologist Ryan Sandler from the National Weather Service and coastal shore specialist Rhiannon Bezor from the Oregon Coastal Management Program for a talk about Oregon coastal waters and weather. This program is free and open to the public. And for more information, you can call 541-247-7246. That's right. And hey, BHH has a jazz band and Seabreeze Spaghetti Feeds going on at the Checo Grains. This will be happening on the 8th, 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. Come join the BHHS jazz band and Seabreeze for a night of music and dinner. Spaghetti, bread and salad, plus a beverage. Adults are $10, students are 5 kids under 3 are free, tickets at the door. The Checo Grange Hall has kindly donated the space for the BHS Music Department to hold this event. This fundraiser event will help the jazz band and Seabreeze achieve their goal in getting to go on a trip to the Folsom Jazz Festival in January of 2024. Come on out and help support the arts and youth. 
Very cool. All right. Oh, Folsom. Get on down here to Folsom. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's like a 30-something year running festival. Good for them. Mm-hmm. Nice. Good. Mm-hmm. Very cool. And Potter Real Estate and Rural Human Services is presenting a community toy drive. This is going to happen at Inateca Restaurant. That's at 963rd Street in Crescent City. It's happening on the 8th at 6.30 p.m. You can enjoy live music, light bites, a no-host bar, and you can give to a worthy cause. And the door entry, one unwrapped toy per person. That's right. Hey, and Lucky 7 Casino is having a holiday bazaar. This will be happening on the 9th. 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. at the Lucky 7 Event Center. Shop from dozens of vendors, gifts, decor, food, and crafts. Yes, indeed. And then the Wild Rivers Coast Foundation for Dance is presenting the Nutcracker Ballet. Hey, 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 this is happening at the Crescent Elk Auditorium at 994 G Street in Crescent City. It's a busy day and busy month for the auditorium this year. And it's going to happen on the 9th of December at 2 and 7 p.m., on the 10th at 2 p.m., on the 16th at 2 and 7 p.m., and the 17th at 2 p.m. So that's Saturday and Sunday performances. This beautiful and beloved holiday tradition, now in its ninth season, is sure to delight audiences of all ages. Featuring beautiful professional dancers from New York, San Francisco, and Eugene, along with a cast of 80 aspiring local dancers and actors, this show is sure to inspire. Tickets are on sale now at eventbrite.com. Hey, I know somebody in that show. Yes, I, mean, I know I like did. a dozen people in that show. But yes, I know. I know. I know, I know. Yeah, I know we own everybody. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but but your hubby's in that show yeah. doing the old Drosselmeyer. Making Love it. his debut. Yeah, yeah. That's at least it. in uh, in the ballet realm. <laughs> That's gonna be awesome. Yeah, That's yeah, yeah. Great. Well, yeah. like I said, when I did him, I didn't have to dance. He doesn't either. I I did several ballets and I never had to dance in any of. Mm -hmm. Well, the capella, I had to dance the girl around the room, and then I found out that the the director, she improvised on that because I looked at the movie and I was like, hey, she never danced with him. How can you make me dance around the room? She goes, because I knew you could. And I was like, going, all right, all right. (laughs) Uh Mm -hmm. (laughs) That's funny. Mm -hmm. Hey, Ellensburg Theater Company is presenting the Happy Elf. Hey, this was written by Harry Connick Jr. It's going to be at the Rogue Theater, yeah, 94196 Moore Street in Gold Beach. On the 9th, the 10th, the 16th, and the 17th, that's Saturdays at 7 p.m. and Sundays at 2 p.m., the happy elf follows Yubi, the happiest elf at the North Pole. More than anything else, Yubi wants to be a part of Santa's sleigh team. Instead, he's stuck checking the naughty or nice list. Then, one Christmas Eve, he sees something strange. In the whole town of Bluesville, not a single person has been nice. With a pinch of elfish magic and magical whoosh, Yubi's off to Bluesville. But can he turn a whole town of naughty children nice in just one day? Hey, tickets $15 for an adult, 10 for children 15 of age, and under 5 are free. Hey, tickets available at Jerry's Rogue Jets Gift Shop and Gold Beach Books and at the door. All right. Hey, do you need a photo with Santa? Because it's happening this year. Yeah. There's plenty of opportunities, and one of them includes at David Allen State Farm at 97953 Shopping Center Avenue. That's up on the 101 next to Chevron and Foxy's, that little restaurant area there. Mm-hmm. This is open to kids of all ages on the 11th of December. People and their pets on the 18th. Both dates are from 3 to 7 p.m. Yeah, that's cool. Two different dates of different things. So bring mm-hmm. your pet. That'll be happening. Hey, Crescent City Four Square Church, located at 144 Butte Street, presents Singing Christmas Tree. This will be on the 15th and the 16th at 6 p.m. and on the 17th, 10 a.m. and 6 p.m. All she right. shows that date. Yep, Singing Christmas Tree. That's all they gave me. I'm sure that there will it. be Christmas trees and there will be singing. I am hey. assuming that we have a Christmas tree that will be singing. All yes, right. indeed. Mm-hmm. Great. And hey, now it's time for a bit of weird history with Bushwhacker Bruce. Right. Good day, cat. Good day, mates. Bushwhacker Bruce here, and welcome to this week's bit of weird history for your knowledge pleasure. Did you know that a female descendant of Genghis Khan wouldn't get married unless the groom first beat her at wrestling? It's true. Here's the story. Born around 1260. Kudalun was the daughter of Kaidu Khan, cousin of Kublai Khan, who would found China's Yuan dynasty and great-great-great-granddaughter of Genghis Khan. Well, Kudalun grew up with 14 brothers and excelled in archery, horse riding, and wrestling. She fought alongside her father to protect their nomadic Mongol lifestyle. Her method of fighting was to rush into battle, seize an enemy horseman, drag him to the ground where he would then be killed. 
<laughs> Kudalgan was, aside from being a fierce warrior in battle, Kudalgan is also known for an unbelievable winning streak in wrestling. Kudalgan's father wanted to marry off, but the female warrior set a condition that she would only marry the man who would defeat her in wrestling. Well, using her power at the time, she claimed across the Mongol Empire that any man could take up her challenge, and if he should win against her, she would become the man's wife. The horses were also waged during the challenge, and after going undefeated and winning wrestling matches against a thousand men, she managed to amass ten thousand horses, a number considered to be as many as any emperor at the time. Well, she eventually married someone, but reports of who the man was is varied. Nobody's really sure. Hmm. I wonder who carried who across the threshold. Hope you enjoyed this week's Beard of Weed History with yours truly, Bushwhacker Bruce. Till next time, keep it real, but always keep it weird. Okay. Yeah, there you go, man. Mm-hmm. You know, Dad, I don't want to get married. If they're going to marry me, they got to kick my butt. There uh, you go. Okay, well. You know, do what you can. And then she's a tough lady, so yeah. <laughs> there you go. But that's funny. That is just, uh, yeah, I, 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 who carried who across the threshold? It's a lot of horses. <laughs> <laughs> All right. The Del Norte Child Care Council at 212K Street in Crescent City is having a holiday open house. This is on the 20th of December from 3.30 to 6.30. You can come join the DNCCC staff for an evening of family fun. You can meet Santa, play games, and go home with a holiday goodie bag full of fun surprises. You have an opportunity, what did I say, to come and meet Santa. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And if you're, you have any questions or need more info, you can call 707-464-8311. You're going to meet Santa. Forget about it. That's awesome. We're going to see a lot of that going on. That's oh, for yeah. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> And hey, as I was talking earlier, Elk Valley Casino is presenting Justin Shandor. The, <laughs> he's going to be at the 23rd in December, 7 p.m. The King is returning to Elk Valley Casino. Shandor channels the spirit of the King himself. Justin brings Elvis Presley's iconic hits to life. From Jailhouse Rock to Can't Help Falling in Love, this tribute show will transport you back to the golden era of rock and roll. An evening of nostalgia, swaying hips, and heart-thumping beats. You can get the tickets at the casino. Doors open at 6. Show starts at 7. Seating is first come, first serve. 21 or older to attend, of course. If you want to check him out online, get on and look at him. The dude looks like Elvis, too. I mean, he's like one of those ones that sounds like him, looks like him. Yeah. (laughs) <laughs> hey, uh, oh gosh, more Santa stuff. <laughs> yes, believe it or not. <laughs> <laughs> Nature's Coastal Holiday Festival of Lights is happening. It opened on the 24th of this month. It's running through the 27th of December from 5 to 9 p.m. There's sweets, treats, and entertainment, hundreds of light sculptures, millions of lights. Adults get in for $3. Kids under 12 years old get in for free. And Santa visits happen every Friday and Saturday from 6 to 8 p.m. Yeah. And they got a reindeer that leads the kids up to Santa. What? Oh, it's uh, yeah. You got to see that one. Oh, yeah. She's she. Yeah, it's it's a Santa reindeer. She goes down because the Santa and uh, Mrs. Claus are sitting in this booth thing, you know, in this yeah. like their little thing there. Uh-huh. And you walk up. You have to walk up the cement. And uh, right, because it's on the banshee. Yeah, yeah. They got, everybody, yeah, they got okay. everybody held back right there, uh-huh. and this reindeer comes down and. and leads them all up and it's oh. just it's funny Very <laughs> it's cute. Of, yeah because she's she's got a really high voice and she's what did she say oh more guests for santa more so, so, like it's just uh, yeah yeah Aww, yeah cute. <laughs> they Very they cute. went they, like i said it kicked it up a notch with some different stuff this year that's mm-hmm. pretty cool yeah mm-hmm. we saw that and we were laughing that was pretty cool oh, good yeah hey game night at the whimsical griffin this is 615 checko avenue by the redwood theater tuesdays and fridays from 5 p.m to 9 p.m Magic's Gathering, Dungeon the Dragons, board games, and much more. All right, and it's PSA time. Meals yeah. for Wheels is looking for volunteer drivers. They deliver about 75 hot meals daily to seniors that can't get to the Checo Activity Center for the daily meals that are served there. So they have both a Harbor route and a Brookings route. And this is a great opportunity for anyone out there who wants to give back to the community and be a friendly face and deliver a hot meal and a little kindness to local homebound residents. So whether you're interested in doing this for just a day, a week, or an entire month, all volunteers are welcome. And to do that, you can contact Debbie Lutz at 714-423-9797.
Yipper, another one out here for the Brookings Harbor Boy Scouts of America. Scouting for new troop members, boys and girls are invited. Troop 32 is one of Oregon's oldest scout troops with a long history in the community. Troop 4032 is Brookings' first female scout troop. Founded in 2019 following the transition from the Boy Scouts of America to Scouts BSA, allowing girls to join and participate in scouting for the first time in history. Now, if you are interested in uh, being a scout or if you want to become involved because they also need people to uh, volunteers, as long as they're over 21 years old and they're able to pass a background check and willing to spend an hour and a half completing a youth protection training course, they meet at Scout Hall 7 to 8.30 p.m. every Monday night, except for on holidays. You can go meet the troops and learn more about what scouts can uh, do for you. The Scout Hall is located at 414 Isaiah Park Road in Brookings. Troop 32 Scoutmasters Mark Hagelin, 541-661-2749. And Troop 4032 is Scoutmaster Rebecca Wilson, 707-951-3647. And they were mm-hmm. out there helping this week in the Lions Club. So very cool. Yeah, awesome. yeah, yeah. But yeah. Chrissy was down there, and she uh, was saying they were down there helping them out. Very cool, very cool. Very cool. All right. Well, Danaka has some information here about their current Courthouse Artist of the Month. Their Art in Public Places program is pleased to present a solo art exhibit by Chris Raintree titled A Glimpse of Nature Shared. This is happening through December 13th at the Del Norte County Courthouse at 450 H Street in Crescent City. This exhibit features Chris's vibrant watercolors, most with a nature theme. This exhibit is free to view, and the courthouse is located at 450 H Street in Crescent City. It's open from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. on weekdays, except for state holidays. And for more information, you can visit denaka.net. That's right. we got time for one more. Fog and Fine Art Gallery, located in Wright's Custom Framing and Art Supply at 810 Checkco Avenue. Features 36 local artists in a variety of mediums and a classroom to inspire new and seasoned artists with workshops. Open from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Monday through Friday, 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. on Saturday. For more information on class offerings, painting demonstrations, and artists, you can call 541-469-7900 or visit them on Facebook at Wright's Custom Framing. Well, that is it. We got the flying fickle mm-hmm. finger of fate. Before we get going here, we like to say, please support local businesses. Remember to always shop local. Mm-hmm. Support our mom and pop businesses in town. That's right. Well, that's it. Time to close out this week's show. Before we go, I'd like to give a shout out to our fearless producer, Brother Tom, for all his great work making us look and sound good on the radio. I want to thank you all for tuning in to this week's Insider Report. Please make sure to tune in on a daily basis to KCIW 100.7 FM and listen to all the fine shows that they have to offer. You can catch all the fantastic show podcasts, including the Insider Report, kciw.org, and while you're there, check out the live streaming as well. Hey, until next week, this is Cousin Bruce Ellis. And I'm Kat Liddell. We are signing off one more time. Keep it real and spread the love and the peace every chance you get. And hey, we'll, we'll see, see you out there. there. Bam! Bam! Yes, indeed. Music credits for the preceding show go to kciw.org slash credits.